In researching for the Mosin-Nagant individual cleaning kit training film, I ran into what seems like a discrepancy in instructional content for the assembly of the cleaning rod on the internet. Every source and description I came across on the internet describes aligning the holes in the cleaning rod collar and cleaning rod and then inserting the drift through both the cleaning rod collar and the head of the cleaning rod. This creates a fixed T-handle at the end of the cleaning rod. In the official Soviet Mosin-Nagant rifle manual, translated by Major James Gebhardt, the cleaning rod collar is described as facilitating rotation of the cleaning rod during cleaning and lubrication of the barrel and bore. The drift is described as providing ease in holding the cleaning rod during cleaning and lubrication of the bore and is inserted through the hole of the collar above the head of the cleaning rod. I think both of these descriptions are in conflict with a fixed T-handle. While it could be argued that a fixed T-handle facilitates the manual rotation of the cleaning rod, I don't think this is the intent as that would be beneficial for cleaning a chamber but not the barrel. And if that were the case, I think the description of the drift would also mention facilitating the rotation as well and not just holding the cleaning rod. Further, a fixed T-handle can be assembled without the use of the cleaning rod collar by simply inserting the drift through the hole at the head of the cleaning rod. In considering the translation, I have no knowledge of the Russian language or its nuances in translation or interpretation. I do find it difficult to believe that Major Gebhardt, who has published several Russian manual translations, was that far off the mark in his translation of what seems like a fairly simple description. So, I have come to the conclusion that the internet is wrong. The drift is inserted through the cleaning rod collar above the head of the cleaning rod, which locks the cleaning rod into the assembled rotating T-handle. This allows both the patch on the jag and the brush to follow the rotation and the rifling in the barrel, both protecting the rifling from damage and providing a better cleaning. For more on this cleaning kit, the training film covering the individual cleaning kit for the Mosin Nagant is linked at the end of the video. Thanks for watching! If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. And let us know what you thought or would like to see with a comment. If you would like to support the channel, a link to our Patreon page is in the description. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.